Hi, I'm Clyde Phillips, executive producer of Dexter, and you're watching Fairnet. So, Dexter, season three, what can fans expect? Something they've never seen before from Dexter. He sets in motion a couple of things that he cannot undo, and it will change his life forever. It came from a book um, by Jeff Lindsay called Darkly Dreaming Dexter. And my partners, Sarah Colleton and John Goldwyn, found the book and brought it to Showtime. And uh, they made the pilot, and then I was, um, I was brought in to run the show after that. Well, the, basically, the, the, the main character to talk about is uh, Dexter. And his evolution will be that he is leaving behind the code of Harry and finding, becoming his own man. And that's a very difficult thing to do. And he's doing it later in life than most people, than most men do that. You know, there's the Joseph Campbell uh, philosophy that you, the son needs to kill the father in order to become his own man. Then he learns to forgive his father. And that usually happens to a young man in his 20s. And Dexter's in his 30s. Um, we're bringing Jimmy Smith in to the show. Uh, and as we were dreaming up the character that he's going to play, an ADA in Miami who becomes Dexter's friend, as we were referring to him in the writing room, we only referred to him as Jimmy Smith. We could only hope to get him, and then we got him. Hey, what's up? We're here with a Dexter fan talking about the new season. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. You excited about Dexter? Yep. What's your, uh, what's your favorite thing about the show, Dexter? Justice and through violence and horrible brutality, yeah. That's sweet. Uh, justice through violence and horrible brutality. Is it, do you try to adopt that as a part of your life every day? I like metal and uh, horrible, brutal things, but um, I really can't bring myself to hurt other people. Well, no, nah, nah, I can't really do that stuff. Good for you. All right, Dexter fan. We're going to try and find some more. Well, there's something about uh, what he does. He's, he's got the dual nature of the character, and... He is kind of a good guy. He's doing bad things, but he's kind of a good guy. It kind of falls in line with some of the other cult properties that we go after, and he's just a great character. There's nothing like him on television. I can't wait for the new season to start. I love it. I love the way he gets back at everybody. He's kind of a psycho in a way, but, you know, he's a serial killer of a serial killer, so it's kind of ironic. I love the character. I love the storyline. Uh, it's always, you know, it's always keeping me on edge, and I just can't wait for the next show. It's, I see it every night. I love the, love the show. Dexter, judge, jury, executioner, watch it. You'll love it. <laughs>